the day. Hello everyone! In today's episode I'm gonna talk to my amazing boyfriend Alexander who's gonna talk about his favorite discipline wake skate. For me he's the most diverse rider that I know and if you want to know more what I'm talking about just check his video Vimeo channel you can find the link here or below and just let's get started. Birds chirping, drunk is lurking, trying to find a crack rock. I'm in the kitchen helping my little niece pack up a lunch spot. Still do a die around these parts, so my gun cock. Never know who might approach while standing at a bus stop. Kiss her on the forehead, tell her make up. I want to talk today about one of your favorite disciplines, uh, wake skate. Tell me, what's so amazing about it? Why, why, it's, why you do it? Um, it's just something different for me. I get bored of riding the same board all the time, so it's interesting to have something like wake skate, which is sometimes really frustrating, but in the end really rewarding when you learn new yeah. tricks. Where do we start? What gear do we get? Where can we get it? Because it's something not like you can go and buy. I know you have a custom board, maybe just tell us a little bit more about the equipment and like how to start riding. Yeah, well, I mean, you can buy just a regular wake skate if you want. You just... Uh, in a wakeboarding shop. Yeah, in a wakeboarding shop. You just need to make sure you get something that's a slightly bigger size, like anything kind of over 41 inches. That's sort of a good, good place to start. And try to pick one that doesn't have too much rocker, something that's more blended and less aggressive three stage is better so so you can go upwind better yeah because as we can see this board doesn't have foot strap and it doesn't have fins so no <laughs> how do you ride it well you can ride with a fin if you want i mean there is actually a little place where you can put a fin on this board i just haven't drilled it out so if you want a fin in the beginning it's it's good to ride with a little fin you ride with sort of a shorter fin than you usually ride with yeah and that just keeps it tracking a bit easier. But I would say that you want to learn with ride without fins because that helps you understand where your weight is over the board. Because mm -hmm. without fins, if you're over the top of the board, you won't slip out. But if your weight isn't right on the board, you will slip out. So it's really easy to understand like where to put your weight when you do tricks. Yeah. What about the shoe? Can you <laughs> say why they're so special? Well, these aren't anything special. This is actually just regular wake skate shoe. I mean, regular skateboard shoe, um, America skate shoe. Um, and the reason I chose these ones in particular out of every shoe is because the inside of this shoe has, I don't know if you can see, but there's sort of some neoprene around the heel and keeping the tongue in the place. So when you're riding and wake skating, the shoe tends to not come off as easily and also doesn't seem to rash the back of your foot up as much. If you choose a shoe that has a seam in the back or a material that's not soft or, um, I don't know, it's too hard in the back, the sand gets stuck there and then it makes a hole in the back of your foot and that really sucks. So, main thing to consider, choose a shoe that's got not too much padding so it doesn't soak up water and has something slippery or pretty soft in the heel so you don't get rashed up there. But besides that, you can pretty much choose any shoe you want. But smaller. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure you choose a shoe that's at least half a size smaller than what you usually wear. So when you try them on, you almost can't put the shoe on. Because when they get wet, they always get a bit bigger. And if you ride the shoe that you it's usually big. wear, yeah, it will just fly off and you'll lose it. And it's okay. really easy to lose shoes. <laughs> Let's get to another question. Alex, where do you begin? What tricks do you do at the beginning? Well, the first thing you want to do is just learn to ride along. Like go upwind and just yeah. ride without straps. You need to learn a pr proper position on the board because a lot of people who are riding a twin tip or they're riding a wakeboard, they put a lot of weight on their back foot. If you do this on a wake skate, you're never going to go upwind. So yeah, find a proper technique, which is sort of a, if anything, more weight on your front foot. And once you work that out, that's when you can start trying some other stuff. And then? Then you jump? Uh, yeah, well after that you just need to learn to ollie because if you don't know how to ollie then you can't really do anything. So ollie is just a jump? 
Yeah, ollie's basically a jump, but it's called an ollie in skateboarding because you don't have the shoes and you sort of slap the tail down and we do a similar thing with mm. a wake skate. So, I mean, it's not, I guess it's not really an ollie, but yeah, it's what, a jump. What then, what tricks do you do? What are the advanced ones? Um, tricks that I really like doing are like 360 shove it's where a board does a 360. Um, big spins where the board does a 360 and you do a 180. Um, I like to try and do kick flips and all this sort of stuff. So I mean any any kind of But you go unhook. Because yeah. when I go wake skate I go I'm, I'm hooked in all the time. But then you say go unhook this is way harder. Why? Well, yeah, it's just a progression. Once you learn to do a trick hooked in, which shouldn't take you that long, you learn to do it unhooked, and that's just like another thing you have to learn and another like reward. Advanced, yeah. Advanced version. It, so you start hooked in, then you go unhook, so you can do 360s and exactly. do a lot of cool stuff. I cool. mean, it's like <laughs> with a twin tip, you learn to jump hooked in yeah. and to do a rolls Makes hooked sense. in. Then once you learn that, you do it unhooked because it's just another level to progress, to progress. with. Great, that sounds like a lot of fun. You guys definitely should try it. And if you want to learn more about Wake Skate, follow Alex's Vimeo channel where he's going to upload more videos, tutorials, and how to start because it's definitely a cool thing to do. Thanks for watching, and I see you next time. Bye. Cheers. Every night before I go to sleep, I look up to the stars and I pray. It don't matter if you're